Peppa and George are going to the seaside with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Peppa and George love the seaside. Oh, where's the sand gone? There isn't any sand on this beach, Peppa. No sand? But we wanted to make sand castles. Peppa and George love making sand castles. Oh, no, now, George, don't be upset. <laughs> there are lots of exciting things to do on this rocky beach. Like what? When the sea goes out, it leaves little pools of water in amongst the rocks. They're called rock pools. And in every rock pool, there's something special that the sea has left behind. Ooh, I can see something glittering. It's a coin. Wow! Maybe it's a pirate's treasure. Ooh. Let's make a collection of all the things we find. Yes, we'll put them in George's bucket. <laughs> <laughs> what surprise is waiting in this pool? There's nothing special in this one. Ho, 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 ho. There's always something, Peppa. Look closer. There is something. Yes, it's a crab. Ah! The crab is pinching Grandpa Pig's finger. Oh! Ouch! Naughty Mr. Crab. <laughs> Look, George. Mr. Crab is walking sideways. <laughs> George is pretending to be a crab. <laughs> Pepper wants to be a crab too. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> pinch, pinch, pinch. Help! There are two naughty crabs trying to pinch me. Pinch, pinch, pinch. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shoo, 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 you naughty crabs. Go back to your little rock pools. Yes. Let's look in more rock pools. What can you see? A seashell. Can you hear the sea in it? What do you mean? If you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea. Wow! I can hear the sea. <laughs> I love my seashell. George, can you find a seashell too? <laughs> shell! That's not a shell. Oh. Pepper's right. That's not a shell. George has found a fossil. What's a fossil? A fossil is the remains of an animal that lived long ago when there were dinosaurs. Dinosaur. Grrr. <laughs> Rock pools are such fun. Yes, they're fun for us. But not for this little fish. A fish? Where? Ooh. Poor little fish. She's trapped. Oh. Oh? The little fish says she wants to go back to the sea. Maybe you could use your bucket to rescue her. Yes. Peppa is rescuing the little fish in her bucket. Don't worry, Mrs Fish. You'll soon be back with your friends. Bye-bye, Mrs Fish. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I love rock pools. <laughs> 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 the toy cupboard. It is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> Goodness me! Why are all these toys on your bed? That's where they live. Quickly, put the toys away in your toy basket. But the toy basket is full. Oh, so it is. Maybe you need a toy cupboard. Yes, I could make one tomorrow. The last thing you made, Daddy Pig, was this shelf. I'm very proud of that shelf. 
But, Daddy, it's all wobbly. We use it as a slide for Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's buy a new toy cupboard. We can buy one now on the computer. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig is using the computer to buy a toy cupboard. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, which one shall we get? Can we have this one, please? That looks perfect. Mummy Pig is buying the toy cupboard. Congratulations! Your toy cupboard is ordered. Oh, goody! It is morning, and Mr Zebra the Postman has a special delivery. Post! <laughs> special delivery for Miss Peppa Pig and Master George. What is it? It's a toy cupboard. Oh, it looks a bit flat. Yes, you build it yourself. Oh. Don't worry, Pepper. It'll be very easy for your mummy and daddy to build. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now what do we do? Now we build your toy cupboard. Yes! <laughs> That's strange. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Peppa. Now I need four legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. <coughs> oh, George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh no. If only we had the instructions. Who can that be? Hello, I've just found this in my van. It's the missing instructions. That will make things a lot easier. Hooray! <laughs> the instructions look very complicated. It's no good. It's nonsense. Leave it to me, Daddy Pig. I quite enjoy putting these things together. Really? Can we help in any way? You can put the kettle on. I'll have a nice cup of tea. With six sugars, please. Everyone is preparing tea and biscuits for Mr Zebra. Tea time, Mr Zebra. Wow! Mr Zebra has built the toy cupboard. My goodness, that was quick. Yes, and I've put all your toys in there too. Ooh! Thank you, Mr Zebra. <laughs> but there's no room for these last two. Oh, poor Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. Where are they going to live? Why not simply order another easy-to-make cupboard? No! I've got a better idea. Teddy and Mr Dinosaur can live on your beds. But, Mummy, that's where they lived before. Yes, I know. That's why it's such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's little tray. Peppa and George have come to play in Granny and Grandpa's garden. What's that noise? Grandpa's making something. Hello, Peppa and George. That's perfect timing. I've just finished making it. And may we ask what it is? <laughs> I'll show you. Wow! A little toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. 
Peppa and George love Grandpa's little train. Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo, choo choo choo, choo choo choo. Grandpa's little train goes choo 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 all day long. And the piggies on the train go oink oink oink, oink oink oink, oink oink oink. And the piggies on the train go oink 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 all day long. <laughs> Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Grandad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny. If you'd rather play trains than... Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up all those who want to ride on the train. Me! Me! And hands up all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> What a lot of mud. We don't want to get stuck. Maybe we should go a different way. It's only a patch of mud. Come on, Gertrude. You can make it. Come on, bus. You can make it. The bus is stuck in the mud. Oh, bother. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How are you today? I'm a bit stuck. Can you rescue me? Certainly. Is your truck strong enough? Trust me. Did it work? Uh, no. We need a vehicle with more power. Can I help in any way? Uh, it's nothing that I can't deal with. Uh, thanks, anyway. I've got an idea. Grandpa Pig's train can tow me out of the mud. Uh... Good thinking, Miss Rabbit. Grandpa's little train is going to pull the bus out of the mud. Full steam! Come on, Gertrude! Come on, Gertrude! Oh, well done! It's amazing what can be done by a toy train. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. Gertrude is the very best train in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Mysteries. Peppa and her family are watching their favourite television programme, Detective Potato. I am Detective Potato, the world famous detective. Ooh. Ooh. Please help me, Mr. Detective. I cannot find my flower anywhere. Hmm. Your flower is on the top of your head. Oh, thank you, Mr. Detective. <laughs> that was easy. I could do that. <laughs> I'm sure you could, Pepper. Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be a famous detective. <laughs> George wants to be a detective, too. If you're going to be detectives, you'll each need a hat. Detectives always wear hats. <laughs> now you look like two proper detectives. And we need one of those funny things that makes everything look big. A magnifying glass. I think we've got one in the kitchen drawer. Here we are. A real magnifying glass. Wow! How does it work? You hold it in front of things and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Dad 
Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> like finding things that are lost. I know. We can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <laughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any Miss Stories. <laughs> Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr Dinosaur is there. Little fish. Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. It was quite easy for us. We are famous detectives. Ah, but that's only half the mystery. Where has Teddy gone? Oh, I don't know. What are those little things on the floor? They're cake crumbs. The magnifying glass makes the cake crumbs easy to see. I wonder if Teddy has been eating cake. And the crumbs lead this way. <laughs> Teddy's been eating a lot of cake. The crumbs lead into Peppa and George's bedroom. Oh, the crumbs have stopped. <laughs> How can we find Teddy? Ask me some questions, but I will only answer yes or no. OK. Um, is Teddy in this room? Yes. Is Teddy in George's bed? No. Is Teddy somewhere high up? Yes. <laughs> Teddy's in my bed. Hooray! The mystery is solved. <laughs> oh, oh, do you still want to be a detective when you grow up, Peppa? Being a detective is quite hard. <laughs> Next time, I want to be the one who makes the mysteries. Like you did, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig's office. Today, as a special treat, Peppa and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. Daddy, what do you do at your office all day? Lots of fun things. You'll see. This is the building where Daddy Pig works. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> yes? Hello, it's Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Can I press the button too? <laughs> of course, Pepper. Yes? It's me. Oh, hello, me. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> My office is on the top floor. We have to go up in the lift. Can I press the button? I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, George. <laughs> Ooh. The lift is taking Peppa, George and Daddy Pig up to the very top floor. Wow! Top floor, doors opening. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. Peppa and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper, I take a rubber stamp, and I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. Can 
I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Pippa likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next up is Mrs Cat's desk. Meow. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Ooh. Then I print the shapes out. Wow! <laughs> and here's another copy. Thank you. What a nice job Mrs Cat has. Can I have a go? Maybe it's George's turn now. That's right, George. It's your turn to do some work. <laughs> George is making blue triangles. Now we print them out. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing Mrs Cat's job. <laughs> Do you want to see my desk now? Yes, please. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's desk. My job is quite complicated. I take big numbers, transmute them and calculate their load-bearing tangents. Daddy Pig's job sounds very important. Do you use rubber stamps? No. Do you use a computer? No, but I do use colouring pens. Daddy, can we draw with your colouring pens? Good idea. <laughs> Pepper and George love drawing with colouring pens. I'm drawing a house. George is drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! Five o'clock already. It is home time. I say, what a splendid picture of a house. And what a fierce dinosaur. George and I have been doing Daddy's job. And they've been doing it very well. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. And I like doing Mrs Cat's job. But I like doing Daddy's job the best. <laughs> <laughs> Foggy day. <laughs> Peppa and George are going to the playground today. Should we drive to the playground? No, let's walk. Look, it's just over there. The playground is quite close. <laughs> OK, let's walk. This way, everyone. <laughs> We're going to the playground. We're going to the playground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where has the sky gone? Don't worry, Peppa. It's just fog. What's fog? Fog is a cloud that is on the ground instead of in the sky. Ooh. Oh, it's very thick fog. I can't see a thing. Hmm. Maybe we should go back home. Yes. We'll go to the playground another day. Oh. It is too foggy to find the playground, so Peppa and George have to go back home. Now, which way is home? Are we lost, Daddy Pig? <laughs> Don't worry. I know exactly where we are. This way. Oof. Who put that tree there? Daddy Pig has walked into a tree. Are you OK, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. This way. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. I don't think we'll ever find our house again. <laughs> I'm sure we will, Peppa. We're only in our garden. <coughs> oh, it's the ducks. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Have you lost your pond? <coughs> We're lost, too. We are not lost. I know exactly where we are. <coughs> See you later, ducks. Good luck finding your pond. Whoa. Oh! Daddy Pig has found the duck pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, 
Mrs Duck says thank you. You're most welcome, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's find our house. I'm sure it's this way. Hello? Did you hear something? Yes, I thought I heard someone say... Hello? It's Mummy Rabbit with Rebecca and Richard. Hello, Peppa. We're lost. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca. We're lost too. We wanted to go to the playground. So did we, but it's too foggy to get there. Come on, everyone. Back to our house until the fog clears. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. This way. Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Aha! I've found our little hill. We'll soon be home. Hooray! Our house should be just about here. Oh. Daddy Pig has found a ladder. That's strange. We don't have a ladder in our garden. Goodness me! Can you see where we are, Daddy Pig? Yes, I can! <laughs> Daddy, where are we? Why don't you have a look? OK. Wow! Wow! I can see everything again. The fog is going away. <laughs> We're at the playground. Hooray! Whee! We're at the playground. We're at the playground. Whee! <laughs> seesaw, seesaw. Daddy! Mummy! <laughs> We're at the playground. Well, that's lucky. But I thought we were trying to get home. So did I. Maybe we did get a bit lost, after all. <laughs> Pen pal. Peppa and her friends are at their playgroup. Children, who would like a pen pal? Me! Me! What's a pen pal? A pen pal is a boy or girl you can write letters to. This little girl lives in France. Her name is Delphine Donkey. Can Delphine Donkey be my pen pal? Of course, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> it is early morning. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Post! Peppa and George <laughs> love it when the post arrives. It's addressed to Miss Peppa Pig. That's me! Mummy, can you read it for me? Of course. It's from Delphine Donkey. My pen pal! <laughs> what does she say? Bonjour, Peppa. Comment ça va? Mummy, why are you saying those funny words? It's French, Peppa. It means, hello, how are you? What else does she say? Hmm. I'll help. Jame les princesses et jouer avec mes amis. <laughs> Clever daddy. <laughs> I am an expert at French. What does it mean? Um... Daddy Pig cleans his glasses so he can see the letter more clearly. Hmm. It's no good. It's nonsense. It means I like fairy princesses and playing with my friends. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk French. Maybe you could talk to Delphine Donkey. How? Her phone number is on this letter. Yippee! <laughs> Bonjour. Est-il possible que Peppa parle à Delphine? Mummy Pig is asking if Peppa may speak to Delphine. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, what do I say next? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? <laughs> bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. What did she say? She spoke French. <clears throat> Bonjour, George. Comment ça va? Peppa is saying, how are you? In French. Dinosaur. No, George. That's not how you speak French. <laughs> it is morning. 
Mr Zebra the postman is delivering letters to Peppa's house. Post! <laughs> Yay! Can I have my letter from Delphine, please? Sorry, Peppa. There's no letter for you today. Aww. I wonder who that could be. Bonjour, I am Delphine Donkey. <laughs> I have come to see Peppa. It's Delphine! Bonjour! <laughs> Bonjour, Peppa. Here are my maman and papa and my brother Didier. Bonjour. Here are my mummy and daddy and my little brother George. Hello. Dinosaur. Dragon. Do you speak French, Mr. Pig? I'm an expert at French. Ah, pardon, sport. J'adore l'équipe de foot de Paris. Quelle est votre équipe de foot préférée? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Delphine, we could jump up and down in muddy puddles. Delphine does not understand Peppa. J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Peppa does not understand Delphine. Everything's so different in French, Daddy. <laughs> oh, come on, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Ah, that's what I was going to show you. We call it jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, j'adore jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone in the whole world loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> the long grass. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing in the garden. <laughs> oh. The grass has not been cut for a while. It has grown very long. Come on, George. <laughs> George, where are you? I can't see you. <laughs> George, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Pepper and George cannot see each other. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George love playing in the long grass. Daddy Pig is going to read his newspaper. Ah, what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Oh, goodness me, Daddy Pig. We've let the garden get a bit out of control. What do you mean, Mummy Pig? The grass. It needs cutting. Oh, I quite like it. It's the wild garden look. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, come and play in the long grass. It's fun. <laughs> OK, let's all play with this spotty ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's it gone? The ball is lost in the long grass. Now we'll never find it. Hmm, maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh. I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Could you help us cut some very long grass? Oh, <laughs> certainly. I'll be over right away. Bye. I think this is a job for Betsy. Grandpa Pig is driving his motor mower over to Peppa's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! Hello, everyone. I hear there's some grass that needs cutting. And it's just a bit too long for my lawnmower. Don't worry. Betsy will have it done in no time. Is your lawnmower called Betsy? She certainly is. <laughs> Hello, Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, can we ride on Betsy? Of course you can. Hop aboard. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. 
We'll have this grass cut in no time. Hold tight. Here we go. <laughs> Betsy is very good at cutting grass. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> There. Finished. Grandpa, you've missed a bit. Oh, yes. What's this? Oh, the spotty ball. <laughs> thank you for finding our ball, Grandpa. And thank you for cutting the grass. Cutting grass is easy with Betsy. <laughs> 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 Now we can play with our spotty ball. <laughs> to you, Daddy. The ball bounces very well on the short grass. <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> Papa Egg. Oh, 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 oh. Catch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 